I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? No idea. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that A.B. has flown by. Think someone might have told you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. 
Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on, talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. Know my place, too. Know exactly where I came from. Maybe, once it's all said and done, I'll find my way back there. Perhaps. If you can prove your value. Jesus, I'm gonna fucking puke. So? Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Offer's intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. Getting us out of here. Don't try anything. Wait. Is everything all right, Hanako-sama? I am fine. He is not. Uh, I gotta go. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air, right now. to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. You want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo-endotrizine, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Yeah? How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help. That's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. 
Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hanako's offer's on the table. I'm sorry. Who's? Oh, cut the crap. She actually has power, could be our ticket. Our ticket, huh? Okay, I see your angle. You think working with the corpo cunt is gonna sweeten the deal? Well, let me tell you something. The corpo kleptocracy is not an option. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. Honestly, think it could work. With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny, it's gotta man. work. We breach the tower, all cracks open Makoshi, then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head... Ah! Almost done, stabilizing the biochip. Oh, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then, you shoved my patient at the time off the table, and demanded you be treated immediately. Dalman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. So, how bad we talking? That bad, huh? All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up. Carefully. Okay. Don't expect a miracle. Ah! Sit slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Something to say, Vic. Just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. If 
Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrys in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not it's in not this in this basement. basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. What? Out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I uh, think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Hey, V, I heard. Well, do what you gotta do. V. Your thoughts? I shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. Good luck. Kid. I know what's going on, and I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here. I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. The same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but. He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. 
You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, you should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just wanna hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? Something... Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it, I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. Mm hmm Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. go with Rogue. Two of you together got the best shot. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. You're up, Johnny. I trust you. Take the wheel. Just, uh, go easy on us, yeah? Thanks, V. I'll get us through this. You'll see. See you on the other side. <laughs>